four situations where you should be shopping for cars with no down payment. Start with a lease. If you put money down on a lease and they steal the car and don't recover it or it gets totaled, insurance company pays it off, you don't get the down payment back, you gotta go shop again, analyze your risk. Second, if you're buying the car but you're transferring negative equity, you bought $5,000 over from your old car because you owed too much, you put that down payment money down, car gets totaled, you don't get that money back because they're gonna pay off the value of the car, you're gonna lose that down payment that you put to your negative equity. Maybe better off taking a higher payment, getting gap insurance to protect yourself. Third case, when you're shopping for a car, you want to be able to analyze the deal with no money going into it because it's the easiest way to see who's making you the best deal. This person says, give me 3,000. This person says, give me eight. This person says, give me four. Here's your payment. You don't really know who made you the best offer and you wanna be able to quickly analyze who made me the best offer so all of y'all work with the same amount of money. Last thing, make sure you follow me if you want to learn more. You might not have it. Four situations.